So I thought I'd give a little bit of an update on the Yamahas. They have both been having electrical issues, starting in particular. This blue one, sometimes you would turn the key on, but you wouldn't get any power. And at one point, when I turned the headlight on, it then got power. I was able to, on the neutral light turned on, and I was able to crank the starter. Whereas usually, sometimes, no matter what amount of turning the key or uh, flipping switches or just kind of shaking the four-wheeler around just would not let it make contact to power up the electrical system. So, uh, my friend and I took out the ignition switch and we found that one of the wires in the back had shaved and it was probably grounding itself out on the chassis and we wrapped it up in electrical tape and now as it is it, it was able to start itself like six times in a row after that and subsequently after we we rode it around for a while and never lost power or anything it never just died so that was a big plus and the yellow one, which is around the corner, uh, it's actually in a tarp, so I won't show it to you. But um, that one just would click and not crank. And you press the starter button. Or it would crank really, really, really slowly. So we swapped the starter off of this one. And the starter that was off of this one was actually rebuilt by a local guy probably about 12 years ago. That was the first thing we ever did to this one, is we had the starter rebuilt. When we bought it, we actually had to bump start it to test it out, make sure it ran all right. The neighbor's donkey is freaking out over there. I don't know if you can hear that. Anyway, um, we switched starters, and instantly the yellow one started fine. So we realized that this starter, the one that was in the yellow one, was bad. Um, so it would have been about $40 to replace, and who knows how long that would have lasted. And about 12 years ago, we paid about $40 to have that rebuilt, and who knows how much more he would charge now, and how well that would end up working out. So my friend and I decided that it would be a nice learning experience to rebuild the starter, now, as far as a general idea of how how to do that and how the starter works, you can look up Ed's Garage, E-D-Z Garage. He has a video of rebuilding a Yamaha Warrior 350 starter, and that's the same one that I have here. So we went off of that, we bought a kit, and we placed uh, the brushes, and actually here... Here's one of the brushes that came out of it. There are two brushes in this, and that's just that's just worn down to nothing, pretty much. I don't know what happened to the other brush, but there was a lot of oil or grease in there, water. So maybe one of the O-rings went bad and let a bunch of stuff inside the starter that there shouldn't have been, and it smelled awful too. A lot of lots of wear in there. So we rebuilt it, put it back together, and uh, we just hooked up the positive to the terminal off of a battery and grounded out the case uh, negative to the battery right there by the o-ring and it put off a good spark and it put off a good kick too. It moved itself several inches. So Maybe it'll work. That's better than it was doing before. Now, as far as installing it, there's the hole that it goes into, and there's the flywheel that the uh, that the gear messes into, and it's just held in by two eight millimeter bolts. One there, and then one up there, right behind the exhaust. Very simple, and then a 10 millimeter nut for the electric cable. 
and as you can see we have power Let's see if it'll crank wow sir did didn't even need the choke to start either didn't expect it to start turn the fuel on That's awesome. Let's try that again. Wow. Perfect. Well, I think that should be the end of the starting issues for the Yamahas for a while. As a comparison, here's the yellow Yamaha with the starter that was originally on the blue Yamaha that we had rebuilt about 12 years ago. Again, no choke. These Yamahas are starting well.